This video will focus on the application of the materials on the surfaces of our project. As you may already know, this is a very mechanical and repetitive process, so I will speed up the video to make it faster. Just make sure you remember that you can change some of the characteristics of a texture after applying it in a surface. To do this, you have to go to the Edit tab in the Material tray and you can change the color and the size of the texture. I can also apply the materials on the walls created with the back. When the model is converted to 2D as a floor plan, the back will memorize the information of the materials and they will be displayed every time we convert the floor plan again to 3D. So I'm going to apply the materials to the walls of our project and we'll show you how this goes later. Also remember that you can resize and rotate the materials with textures by activating the pins and playing around with them. The back will also remember the materials applied to any existing components in our project. I just have to get into the addition mode, change the material, and we'll see later how we will maintain that information. Okay, we're done. Before I convert to 2D, I'm gonna hide the floor layer. I select both groups and convert to 2D. Now we can see the 2D floor plan of four project and if I convert back to 3D you'll see that the back will maintain the textures and the components as they were. For a better 3D visualization, I can activate the layer of my floor and position my camera inside of the living room. This way, I can activate the layer of the roof, get into addition mode and apply the materials of this geometry. <laughs> 